Some of you might remember this little jet. It's an F-35 I designed specifically for RC to fly in your front yard. I sell them on my store as a kit, link will be down in the description. But for my aviation class this year, I have a glider project. I was thinking this would be the perfect candidate, so let's modify this just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Before we get too deep into this though, let's take a step back and look at the design process and how I built this thing. So like I mentioned before, my original intent, version 1, was this F-35 chuck glider. So this flew pretty good, but I wanted to go above and beyond, of course, and I wanted to make a 500% version of this. So instead of printing out a bunch of plans, I took the plans for this, scaled it down 50% so it would all fit on one sheet of paper, and then I took measurements of every single part and scaled them up by 10. So that would give me 500% of this. Um, and then I laid out the pieces of foam board and drew them all out with a ruler and then cut them out. I got some parts cut out here. I didn't record that part, but we're gonna assemble it now. So let's get into it. This thing where I uh, scored it down the middle so then I can glue one side, fold the other side over, put glue on there, and put that down so I don't have to worry about trying to get it on and move it around as fast as possible without the glue drying. So now I can do it in two sections, makes it a lot easier. So let's keep working. Basically, I got this bottom fuselage piece, right? And I need it to go and glue here, but that's not gonna be too strong because there's only about a half inch holding it onto this body. So I guess what I'm just gonna do is cut a bunch of like one inch, uh, 90 degree angle triangles, glue them all on the side of here, maybe like five on each side. Then that'll give me a little bit more surface area to stick to so that it can stay to this body a lot easier. So I guess we'll try that and see what happens. See what I'm talking about. I had these little right angles and I glued a bunch of them to this so now there's more contact points so the glue should hold a little bit better. There is going to be a little bit of drag on each of these but it shouldn't be a crazy big deal for this size of a plane. Um, so I'm going to get this glued in and we'll do the same thing for the, bot or for the top one. I guess now the only thing left to do is to go outside and chuck this thing and see what happens. So originally this thing was a little tail heavy so I had these steel plates lying around so I bolted them to the front to give it a little bit of nose weight so it might fly better now. We'll see. Out of all my flights, that was definitely my best one. 
I used Google Earth to calculate how far it went and it traveled 118 feet. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this. It was definitely an experience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.